Okay, guys, one last thing I want to mention to you about accessing the ebooks is accessing them from off campus when you are at home. So you can conduct your search through the catalog as I've already shown you in a different video. And when you click on this link available online and you click on the EBSCOhost link, if you are not on campus, it should direct you to the Access Rio login page so that you can access this ebook from off campus. Or it may potentially give you an error message such as you do not have access to this database. And that's because if you are off campus, you have to be logged in through Access Rio to access these ebooks through the databases. So I'm going to show you how to do that. When you go into the main page, click on Access Rio, log in. And essentially that should be enough. Once you're logged into Access Rio and you click on this available online link and you click on this link, it should automatically recognize that you're logged into Access Rio and open up the ebook for you to use. I'm currently on campus and so it will of course work for me, um, but it should work for you if you are off campus once you are logged into Access Rio. But another way to access the ebooks uh, without using the catalog is through the database page on the library page. So over here on the left hand side menu, here is the library page. Go ahead and click on that. And here you're going to see a full list of the databases, which I will discuss in a different video. And then over here on the right is a link to the library catalog. And then also when you look through this list, You'll see here are the Gale eBooks, which I discussed with you in a different video, and also the EBSCO eBook collection, which I also discussed with you. You can click on these links and they will take you directly to the databases with the eBooks. And that will give you access to the eBooks from off campus.